the beast! The following contest is a Fall Count Anywhere match. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Look at this. Uh-oh, here we go. Strutting to the ring. Oh, the referee needs to get control of this. Yeah, that didn't take long. One of the all-time greats, possibly in the best physical condition of his career right now. I think he's on b sacks diet. Well, that's a great thing. Big Show more agile than we've seen him in years. You said a Corey looks better than he's been in years. And more dominant than he's been in years. The strikes have a little extra on them tonight. He's showing absolutely no pity now, guys. Hooked up. Not the first time we've seen this move tonight. Right to the midsection. Ouch, what a landing. Big Show feeling the pressure now. Tell me about it. He looks incredibly motivated, though. Don't expect him to be down for long. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. Gentlemen, we see a strategy often developed from Big Show's opponents where they target his legs and try to chop the giant from the base. Is this really the most effective method of attack? We do see it time and time again. If you can get Big Show off his vertical base, you may nullify his height advantage. But if you fail, you just end up irritating a very large and now angry man. Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Aggravating the Big Show is not something you want to do, guys. The irritation he feels when someone goes after his legs only boils up. All of Big Show's rage and fuels a KO punch. Well, the fact of the matter is Big Show's right thigh weighs about as much as an entire cruiserweight. Try as hard as you might, but I don't even think Paul Bunyan can chop down those tree trunks. Oh, boy, he is rolling. And a pin attempt. Real quick, in case we have any newbies watching, a Falls Count Anywhere match means that this contest can literally end anywhere. Simple, right? Even Saxton can understand those rules. Brock moves in. This could be it. In describing this match, Corey, you said it can end anywhere, which means we could see this match conclude in the ring, the stands, the locker room. Heck, it could even out incredible German. Establishing dominance. Nice. Shut it down. That should do it, Cole. There's no coming back from a slam of that magnitude. Here we go. Brock Lesnar is setting it up. What's Brock Lesnar putting together here? Oh, boy. With an F5. Bang! He got him there. Just look at this, Cole. Wow.
Well, guys, the referee should have it relatively easy here tonight because, as you know, in a false count anywhere match, anything goes. Now it's Lesnar taking some punishment. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Hard to argue your take on this match, Michael. But when there are no rules to enforce, the official sole responsibility in a match like this is to simply declare the victor. Yeah, the referee may only have one job, but I'm still willing to bet he finds a way to mess it up. He's going for it all. You know, I'd say the Falls Count Anywhere match was popularized back in the Attitude Era, but before that, I remember Pat Patterson and Sergeant Slaughter's famous 1981 Alley fight, which many consider to be the precursor to Falls Count Anywhere. Twice as nice. As Byron mentioned, the Pat Patterson Sergeant Slaughter alley fight had many of the elements of a Falls Count Anywhere match. Most notably, I'd say, was the heavy weapon usage. Yeah, that match had everything from cowboy boots to brass knuckles, but more importantly, weren't you born in 1981, Saxton? Good point. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. physical peak 20 years into his career. But the Big Show returned in amazing shape when he dropped 70 pounds in 2017. And somehow a sub 400 pound Big Show is even scarier now than he was back when he was inching toward half a ton on the scale. He's in trouble. Lesnar. Corey, what scares me is a faster Big Show. F5. Oh, my. His shoulders are down. And he got a near fall out of it. Wow, what's it going to take? There he goes again. At this point, you think he'd have that move well scouted. Lightning fast reflexes. I think it goes without saying, but Byron, the keeper, any Brock Lesnar opponent is to avoid a trip to Suplex City. Uh, yeah, that's easier said than done, Michael. Big or small, Lesnar has set everybody he's been in the ring with to Suplex City. He's making a statement here with this attack. Byron brings up a good point about Suplex City. Lesnar has been able to suplex superstars of all sizes, including the massive Big Show. You're absolutely right, Cole. Nobody's immune to Suplex City. And for me, my favorite part is watching Paul Heyman count along with each and every suplex. Brock Lesnar just too fast for him. Lightning speed from the beast. It's quite the accomplishment to win a championship at WrestleMania and carry it all the way to next year's WrestleMania. But Brock Lesnar did that by winning the Universal Championship from Goldberg in 2017 and retaining it against Roman Reigns in 2018. What's Brock Lesnar putting together here? Oh, boy. Here we go. Take a look at this again. Yeah, that was nice. Byron brought up Brock Lesnar's Universal Championship. Lesnar did it! What a performance! Was there ever any doubt? 
The Falls Count Anywhere matches never disappoint, but this one might go down in the annals of the WWE as one of the best ever. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance.